the story. This is Rachel from Germany. How are you doing? Wow. What a gripping movie. I mean, 8 million people lost their job. 6 million people lost their home. Yeah. You see, like, how the families got totally broken by the fraud. I mean, how is your whole feeling and take towards that? It's a little, it's sickening to, uh, to find out what happened in 2008. It's nothing that I was aware of at the time to, to the, the degree um, that it happened. You know, you, you read the news and you follow the stories and you get an idea of the, you know, the dilemma that the economy was in. But then you read this book and the way this, you know, the way this script portrays these characters, it's, um, it's kind of a punch to the gut. Yeah, I mean, when I saw the movie yesterday, I was like really like sickened by it all. So when yeah. we were doing the research for it and, you know, preparing for it, I mean, how, how did you feel? The same. I, it, it was sickening and terrifying mm -hmm. because to, to be that oblivious, um, and I think most people are, mm -hmm. and that more than anything, that, that, that seems to be the reaction that people are having to this, that, um, that they're thankful to have this awareness now, um, but at the same time, it's scary. And... Uh, you know, it's a movie, and and it's entertainment, and I think in a in an ideal s scenario, all it does is maybe get people talking about what happened and what could potentially happen again. Yeah, I mean, you travel a lot as an actor. Um, what is for you home? Like, you know, when you come home, what does your home mean to you? Like, when you know, like now I'm. Here. <sighs> um, well, home is my family. Home is my wife and my kids. That's so. No matter where we are together, that's that's what home is. It, it's less of a physical place. I mean, we have a home in Los Angeles, but um, you know, where the heart is is essentially what I sit, see as home. Do you remember when you grew up? Um, you know, like when I go back to my parents' house now. You know, I'm like familiar with the smell when I go right. into the house. Do you have like a memory like that, a childhood memory of oh, your family yeah. home? What is oh, it? definitely. And my my parents still own our our family home, but it's an interesting transition too. Be, when that home that you grow grew up in is no longer, you know, it's now it's more of your parents' house than your home. You know, I've been married for 20 years, and I have two kids, and so that that unit, that's home to me. And I'll I'll visit like, it's still sort of home, my parents' house, but it's kind of like you let it go at a certain point. Yeah. Do you remember how old you were when you got your first mortgage and when you bought your first home, and how your feelings were? Like you know, were you I was, nervous about it, or I was probably in my mid 20s when I got my first mortgage and I was terrified. It's a big responsibility, especially as an actor. And it's a hard thing to do as an actor to get a, a mortgage, to get a loan. Really? Yeah, I mean, because I, you know, you're, you're only, generally speaking, you're only employed for a specific amount of time, either doing a play or you get a commercial. And I was working in Chicago at that time so I didn't have any steady employment that way. And that was, a, that was a, my parents co-signed it for me. Um, but it was, it was a little scary because you hope that, you know, you can pay it off every month and, um, you know, you don't, you don't want to put anybody else's money in jeopardy and certainly you don't want to put your own investment in jeopardy. But there's a lot riding on it and, uh, so yeah, there, I, there's definitely a sense of anxiety attached yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, 2015 was a good year for you. Um, you know, we're coming to the end of it. Um, right. So what are you thankful for for 2015? What are you hoping for for 2016? I and your funniest New Year's resolutions you've ever had? Funniest New Year's re resolutions? Okay, well, I'm thankful for my wife and kids um, and uh, the love that we share as a family. My funniest New Year's resolution uh, stop drinking diet soda was, that <laughs> was just, I was really addicted to it. I drank, I like, I'd wake, I'd wake up and I'd drink a six pack of diet soda before, yeah, before lunch easily. So I, and I don't know if it was having any sort of harmful effect on me, but I thought if I'm, 
I think if you do too much of anything, it's probably not good for you. Um, so I, I stuck, I, yeah, I, that was, that was what I did. And you stuck by it? For the most part, yeah. I cut back drastically. I, I quit for a long time. And uh, so, yeah, I don't have an addiction anymore, which is good. Great. Thanks so Thanks. much. Love the movie. Great oh, performance. Thanks.